Okay, here we go. So you are now looking at slide two, which I am kind of looking at too. So, you know, Miss Malloy and technology is not always a pretty thing. Uh, as proven by the burp that I could not edit off of the last video, but okay, y'all love me anyway. Okay, so um, we're going to look at an overview today for the whole module four, which is probably going to take us through the whole end of this to the school year. It's the fourth module. Um, and we're looking at myth making. Okay, we're going to look at what a myth is, definitions of myth. We'll do, we'll talk about that in a few minutes with our word study. Um, what are we going to learn? We're going to learn that humans tell myths and stories to share ideas that are important to them. Um, we talked a little bit about in the book that Miss Evans and I read about Greek, um, the Greek writings and how that kind of started. We watched some of those funny little videos about it. Uh, myths and stories are clues to understanding aspects of the history and culture of a group of people and what they valued. Remember, we looked at um, the two different types of um, people in Greek in the Greek world. It were they were the educated people and the hunters, um, and what they valued each group. Uh, myths and stories have multiple layers of meaning. And we've looked at that. We've talked about that with all of our other books that we've read. Um, some stories have a different meaning for each person who reads it. You know, some things stick out to you more. When we were reading about um, Samuel, when he was going through the woods, some of us really, his courage stood out. Some of us... Um, his, um, his courage stood out for all of us, I guess. But um, the way he um, took care of uh, the little girl, okay, and immediately made him his sister, that was something that really stood, stood out for us. Um, way back when we talked about our very first book, uh, Love That Dog, um, some of us really honed in on the fact that he did not like to write poetry. He did not understand poetry. Um, that really stood out, while others kind of focused more on some of the other things that he talked about. And so it all comes together, but it all has a different meaning sometimes for each of us, okay? Um, humans and myths and stories, uh, wait, humans use myths and stories to understand unexplained aspects of nature. Okay, now we saw that um, a little bit in the book that Miss Evans and I read. We, what, what I really think of when I start think about, thinking about legends, I think more in terms of Native American legends. You know, how the stars fell into the sky. This is what I think of when I think of legends and explaining how nature came to be Native American stories, and I have lots of these that I want us to read and talk about um, that. Um, so when we're thinking about these myths and legends, it's not just Greek. Um, it's any, any people group that used legends or myths to explain, and the Greeks weren't the only ones that did that. Um, Myths are represent are representative of the journey of the human experience, and different cultures share stories of similar journey. Wow, that's a big, big sentence, isn't it? Let's look at that again. Myths are representative of the journey of the human experience. Let's stop and think about that. Um. The human experience. We're kind of going through a human experience right now. Okay, so think about the types of stories that might be written about this. Um, and different cultures share stories of a similar journey. So you may see different, the Greeks and Native Americans um, have, I'm sure, different stories about stars. 
In fact, there are different Native American, depending on the tribes, um, how stars fell into the sky. That is a Navajo legend. This is Coyote Places the Stars. Let's see if I can see who's... Well, Wasco, W-A-S-C-O, Indian legend, okay? So even different tribes of people groups of Native Americans had different um, explanations, okay? And that's what they're talking about. Different cultures share stories of similar journey that's what they're talking about, the journey, how things happen, what specific issue they're talking about. They may have a different telling for it. And so um, that's what we're going to look at. Okay, that's what we want to, to examine in this, in this study. Um, we're going to look at, and the next slide shows you these books, but Understanding Greek Myths. Gifts from the Gods, which is about Greek. The glare is really bad in here. Okay, that one. And then here we have Pushing Up the Sky, which is Native American. Um, seven Native American plays. So we're also not only going to look at um, stories, we're going to look at some plays. Now, if we had our board right at the classroom, I don't know if you remember the triangle that I have that we had between where we had out all of our fiction and nonfiction genres, okay? And then we had our board that had um, the themes. In the middle of that, we had the triangle that had prose, drama, and poetry. You remember that? Prose, drama, and poetry. Okay, those are the three types of writing that anything you read, it's going to fit in one of those categories. Well, we've read poetry. We've read lots of prose, which is anything other than pro poetry or drama. And drama is a play. So I think we've done a reader's theater, um, which are plays. It's written in a script, and that's what this is, the Pushing Up the Sky this is written, these are plays. So they're going to be written in, you can see, a script. Okay, so it's the person who's going to talk and then what they say. Okay, and then you have the, there's usually a narrator, then it's divided into scenes, and so we'll look at that too. Um, so that's another type of writing that we're going to look at in this unit. Okay? Um, what I want us to do next is I want you to go back to the classroom. I want you to find your journal. Now, my goal is to make sure it is up where you can get to it in the online assignments where um, the reading is instead of way down in writing. Um, and... I want you to write, do a journal write, okay? Um, there will be an assignment with that um, journal. And I think what we're going to be doing is just adding every day so it won't be a different assignment every day. I'm just going to tell you in one of our videos to go and write in your journal a little bit. And so um, today for today... March 30th, remember to put the date on the slide. Start a new slide, um, put today's date, March 30th, 2020. Remember, capitalize the M, put a comma after the 30, make a space, and then 2020. Then I want you to just write. Write, give me a free write. Write about what you did last week. Write about how you're feeling about all of this. Remember, capitalization, punctuation, um, normally, we don't really um, 
do too much of grading, and I'm not grading, I'm not grading, but editing in our journal writes. But since this is going to be our writing, I'm going to be looking at it, and I may have some editing notes for you. So every day I want you to go back and read back over if I have written anything on what you did the day before. Okay? All right. Are we good? So you're going to, I would go back through, look back over, listen to your videos again from me. I know. I'm sorry. But I'm getting, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, look back at, over what we're going to be talking about. Look back over the, this slide that has our overview. Think about what you know about these things. What do you know? Some of you love Greek mythology stuff and you've already read a bunch of books. Think about what you already know about that. Some of you um, have Native American family. Okay, think about what you already know about their legends. Okay, I want that in your mind. I want you thinking about that as we jump into this unit. All right. And then I want you thinking about your writing, okay, as you begin to write. Now, there'll be another short little video about our word study, um, which I will put, I think I'll put that with your writing. I think we'll put those two things together. So the reading section will be in one, and then the phonics part I'm going to put with your writing, and we'll see how that works. If that doesn't work well for you, let me know. Um, please email me. Please send me a message somehow. Um, I really want feedback back and forth um, with you. Some of you, I froze your screen to be able to talk to you, and I hate that that's the only way. So I really want us to get a better way to communicate, okay? So what I want you to do is you can look back through, listen to me again if you want to, and think about, think about the myths and legends. Um, I don't know if you can hear Digby. He's in the floor whining right now. Can you see him? Where'd he go? He's back. There he is. Hey, Diggy. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Um, go to your writing. Okay. So go back into classroom. Find your writing journal. And um, there'll be an assignment. Okay. All right.